Hey everyone, welcome back to Ansible AWS series. Today we will understand how to push an Ansible playbook from a system like GitHub or GitLab into the AWS. So to add some context here, in AWS, Ansible project is a set of playbooks. You can manage them manually in an AWS folder at var slash lib. But we can also store them in a source control system like GitHub or GitLab. And adding the new project is easy. You can either use SSH integration or a token for authentication. So this will automatically bring your playbooks from the Git repository to the AWS. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do this in a live demo. So let's get started. First of all, we have the new repository created on GitLab and there is a playbook file called demo underscore playbook.yml. So by end of this video, we'll learn how to integrate our GitLab account with AWS, which is running on our local Linux system and get this demo playbook file to the AWS for running the automation task. So to get started, we need to have the SSH key, which consists of private and public keys. So I already have the key generated. If you are not familiar how to do this, you can visit this video to know more. The first step we need to have is to update the public key on our GitLab accounts. So let's copy the public key. This is the public key which I created. Go to the GitLab. Go to under preference. I already have the key created here. So let me delete that. Let's add the new key. Put the key over here. It will automatically take the title. And we'll have the expiry date for this key as well. That's the only step we need to do on the GitLab. Now let's switch to the AWX platform, which we have installed on our previous video on a K3 platform. Under the resource section, you'll see a lot of menus over here. So what we focus today is the credentials and projects. Under the credentials, we need to add the new credentials. This would be GitLab private key. And you can give a description and if you have any organization configured, you can choose as well. Then the important part here is the what is the type of this one. So you'll see a lot of menus over here. Amazon Web Service, you have Ansible Galaxy and you know, many other options. We'll revisit on this whenever we require on this. So what we need to choose for now is the source control. Then give the private key here, right? So we have, we already updated the public key. Now we have the private key, which need to be updated on this one. So you see it is a private key and the key I pasted also is private key. And then save this one. That's about the credential part. Now we need to come to the project. We'll add a new project, give a name. GitLab demo project. Under the source control type, we have multiple options. We'll go ahead with the kit. Then the important part here is the source control URL. So that you can get it from the GitLab repository. Whichever repository you have created, click on it. Then click the clone button. Then you'll find SSH as well as HTTP. We'll go with SSH here, put that link here, the URL section, then you can put the branch tag or commit, ours is a main branch, I don't have any branch created other than the main branch. Then the important part is the source control credentials. So select the GitLab private key and then we'll have the few options here. So. You have an option called update revision on launch. That means whenever we update the playbook on the SSCM on the GitLab or the GitHub, those updates will be automatically synced into the AWX platform. So let's choose this one. This is going to be a useful option and save it. You'll see it is running now. Click on it if you want to know more details what is going on right now. 
So it's trying to connect with the GitLab and get the project file downloaded or pushed to the app. So this is successful. That means we have successfully authenticated with GitLab. To check if it is working, go to the template, then add the new template over here. Then you can give a template name. It doesn't matter because you are not going to focus on template on this video. But here you can select a project. So we just created a project called GitLab Demo Projects. Select that one and you will see this magic. You will see this playbook file. Whatever we have created on the GitLab is populated on this AWX platform. That's how you can get the projects files from GitLab or GitHub or any other source control system which AWS support into the AWX. You know, instead of going to the manually keeping those files, we can automatically get those files from this SSCM to the AWX platform. All right. I hope this makes sense. If you, if you like this type of content, please do subscribe my channel and press the like button so that it can reach to the maximum number of people. Again, thanks for watching. See you on the next video.